Dr. Bill, and today uh, my wife found some stuff. She's looking for another job, and on Deed, she found a couple things that kind of made me think a little bit. Uh, we all know about crisis actors and role playing and false flags. Seems like every time there is some kind of terrorist attack or something, there's always some kind of crisis actors involved. Or Craigslist, they're hiring people for events that happen around the same time. Like the Boston bombing, uh, what were a couple of the other ones that just happened. It just, I had stuff written down and I forgot them. Uh, anyway, just a heads up. This is, this was on Deed today, and today is June 24th or June 25th. 2020 and this is radio operator role player foreign language service simulation in Cookstown New Jersey it says job detail salary 17 to 18 dollars an hour job type part-time benefits pulled from job description but 17 to 18 dollars an hour foreign language services simulations LLC FLSS is currently looking for talented individuals in the Fort Dix area, Joint Base, MDL, McGuire, Dix, in what's the other one? Lakehurst, to work as radio operators and role players. Work days Monday through Friday from 7 to 1700 hours. So that's what, 5 o'clock? 7 to 5. From July 6th to July 24th, must work all weekdays. Essential duties and responsibilities. Working knowledge with electronics, research and development, computers, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Phototype systems, integration programs, and tactical communications. On-the-job training will be provided. Qualifications. Must be a U.S. citizen. Must pass the background check. Security clearance preferred but not required. Able to communicate clearly while operating a radio. Be able to work up to 10 hour shifts. Remain in roll throughout shift. Able to carry 25 pound backpack. Be able to work as part of a team. Able to regularly stand and walk for long periods in hot and cold weather. Remain in attire, remain in attire and in character for the duration of the training exercises. Local candidates only. Must live within 50 mile radius. Foreign Language Services Simulations is a leading language service company providing language specialists and training specialists to various government agencies. It dedicates itself to developing and delivering successful staffing solutions. Uh, driver's license required, English required, authorization United States, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday required on location 7 a.m. The job is a job for which military experienced candidates are encouraged to apply. Open to applicants who do not have a high school diploma or a GED. So that you do not have to have one for this job. A fair chance job. You or the employer follow fair chance hiring practices when performing background checks. A good fit for applicants with gaps in their resume or have been out of the workforce for the last six months or more. A good job for someone just entering the work workforce or returning to the workforce with limited experience in education. A job for which all ages, including older job seekers, are encouraged to apply. Open to per applicants who do not have a college diploma. So if you went to college, you can't do this. Why at Fort Dix? Are they having radio field operations simulations role-playing so you're going to be carrying a military backpack and they're going to teach you how to run a radio okay that was in New Jersey here's another one that she found Quantico Virginia law enforcement training and role-playing full job description have part-time flexible availability we are current, currently seeking team members to portray roles in law enforcement training scenarios in the Quantico and Northern Virginia areas. 
entry-level and experienced role players are utilized to simulate real-life experiences in a training environment. Roles may include interviews, interrogations, surveillance, victims, criminals, witnesses, civilians, etc. Good physical condition and stamina required as roles include, but are not limited to, handcuffing, searches, sitting, squatting, standing, walking, or for extended periods of time. Shift hours are between 7 a.m. to 12.30 and 12.30 to 5, 5 o'clock. On a part-time basis, occasional weeknights or weekends, team members be scheduled ahead for specific shifts. Other positions are available working with a canine program. If you can run, sprint, and love dogs, please indicate when you respond to the ad. All positions are ongoing, part-time, no full-time applicants, please. If you can speak Spanish, please indicate when you apply. Location, Quantico, Virginia. Work location, multiple locations. That's all there is for that one. Here's another one. And these were on Indeed, I think. Here's another one. Fort Polk, Louisiana. Job details. Part-time, temporary. Full job description. Overview. Role players provide the rotational training unit, RTU, with a realistic contemporary operational environment. The presence of general non-combatant special characters, cultural non-combatants, host nation officials, U.S. government officials, and non-government officials. Throughout the rotation or experience, area and operations are intended to add realism and complexity to the operational challenges faced by the rotational training unit, whatever all that means. There are up to 12 mock villages in the training areas of Fort Polk that serve as the place setting for the role activity. The focus is on general or district government with villages that are self-governing at the local level part-time. Role players shall possess the requisite knowledge and or background and linguistic ability to portray the populace of the rational scenario for the target region and other roles. Role players are normally used as civilian role players and work alongside civilian role play personnel with replicated villages. Role players will receive verbal written role play instructions, blah blah blah. Uh, let me see what else is on here. Role players will be issued role play uniforms, civilian attire, and equipment as per character profile. Role players will be required to wear uniforms and role equipment to role play standards. Interpreters routinely, routinely serve as interpreters for the U.S. military at the platoon, company, and battalion level. Major duties include interpreting basic military terminology, instructions, and conversational level. Uh, interpreters work in direct support of the RTU. Okay. Interpreters may be required to conduct their rational assignments in adverse weather conditions. Interpreters may be required to be transported in military wheeled track or air transportation. Interpreters may be issued role play uniforms and military equipment, helmet, level two or level three, body armor, load bearing equipment, etc. as per character profile. Interpreters shall wear all uniforms and equipment to standards. Okay, and now minimum qualifications. Must, must have resided in the United States for 18 consecutive months prior to employment for the purpose of screening by G2, the ability to speak, read, and write in both English and target languages at the defense language, expert cultural knowledge of the target country, and they got type 1, type 2, type 3, and it goes on and on. I mean, this is huge. I mean, this, this one goes on to... Excuse me, I'm sweating. It's hot out here. It's 100 degrees out here. Uh, language, English and Korean required. United States, employment length, two to four weeks to one to three months. On call, 
This is so all these are going to be going on around the same time. So this is Piney Prepper Bill. That's all I got right now. I just wanted to throw this out there to you. It seems like every time uh, we have some kind of crazy thing going on, a, a shooter at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. Yeah, crisis actors were involved at the same time. Not that that's what that was, but the same time that was going on, uh, there was another scenario going on in the background. Uh, the Boston bombing, same thing, had crisis actors around the same time. <coughs> so, just a heads up, and this is going to be happening, happening in July. This other one was for three months, I figure July, August, September, into October. So, let me know your thoughts. Is this just normal operating procedure, or is this something going on in the background while well, all this other corrupt? Now, how does this work? If you sign up for this and you're doing military, you're a civilian, you're going on military maneuvers, you're carrying a backpack. Uh, what about the coronavirus? What about COVID-19? Social distancing. They're going to be putting people in uh, wheeled, tracked, armored vehicles. You're going to be carrying... Uh, armor plated suits and bulletproof vest and you're gonna be wearing a, a, a mask at the same time or does this not apply to our military or well this is even military this is for civilians so I guess if you sign up for this you're either gonna wear a mask and die out in the heat in the summer carrying a radio backpack or I don't know something's not right with all this so this is Piney Prepper Bill like and subscribe, and in the comments, let me know what you think of all this stuff. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.